Hi, I'm Raden Wijaya and I'm gonna show you the performance impact of GPU scaling and integer scaling on frame per second number. I will show you how it's done. Driver settings. Every PC settings is turned off, including the fishings. Freezing is also turned off. Those are used to ensure the maximum number of FPS to induce bottlenecks in GPU and integer scaling. Now we're going to the game. This recording is just to show you how the benchmark is done. The actual benchmark is not recorded. Screen recording is very resource intensive and it will bring the FPS number down and fork up with the result. We can see that everything is set to bare minimum. Anti-aliasing and fishing is also turned off. The actual benchmark is done in four resolutions. 1024 by 768, 1080p, 1440p, and 4K. I'm running display scaling, GPU scaling, and integer scaling. All three the scaling methods to all four the resolutions, totaling 12 number of benchmarks. However, I have a problem. Integer scaling doesn't work on 1024 and 1440p because the ratio of those resolution to my native screen ratio, which is 4K, is not integer. So integer scaling just doesn't work. In addition to that, I cannot see any perceptible differences in image quality between display scaling and GPU scaling. Integer scaling, however, produces a little more boxy images, just like computer back in the 90s. Now it's time to see the data. There is a tiny tiny bit of increase of rendering time per frame when I use GPU scaling compared to display scaling. And that means there is a decrease in FPS numbers. The data tells us that the difference is even more pronounced when the ratio of native screen resolution compared to the ratio of chosen resolutions is not integer. On the other hand, integer scaling also produces even fewer frames per second. All the data shows that GPU scaling and integer scaling does consumes a little bit of GPU processing power. So if you are benchmarking and need the maximum number of FPS or gaming at native resolutions and you have a decent monitor, I guess it's best to turn off GPU scaling. And that's it. See you next time. Bye-bye.